On the cold side where we're expecting the wintry weather, they may even see some strong severe storms with even some tornadoes oh in there. So. Oh man. Yeah, this is a very dynamic system. Now, like I was mentioning, we're on the cold side of this, so we're well, we are seeing some thunderstorms actually uh, with some of this rain moving in right now. This is our West Topeka camera as we do have. You can see the rain showing up on our camera lens. Maybe seeing some snowflakes trying to mix in already, uh, but for now I think it's mostly rain across northeast Kansas. Our temperatures would support that 38 degrees. However, as the rain starts to move through, we'll likely notice our temperatures falling as we go throughout this morning, and then we'll see that change over from rain to snow happen from the north to the south. Winds are out of the east at nine miles per hour this morning. They are going to pick up as we go throughout the night, especially. So this is a look at that storm system in the bigger picture here, where you can see the rain and some thunderstorms extending all the way down into Texas. We've already got the snow falling across New Mexico, Colorado, western Kansas, up into Nebraska, Minnesota, and South Dakota. And then we've got that rain, maybe that mix here in northeast Kansas too. So while it looks like it looks like heavy snow right just to the south of I-70, I think that's mostly rain that we're seeing right now. Possibly some bigger snowflakes trying to mix in there. But we're already seeing some uh, thunder and lightning where you see these orange and red returns in our far northern and western counties. Also, don't be surprised if you hear some thunder snow later on today. And if you do, you better let me know on Facebook because I just I want to live vicariously through you guys if I don't hear it myself. So we do have the snow coming in today. Temperatures low to mid 30s. So even though our temperatures look to be, remain above freezing for a while today, we could see some pretty heavy snowfall rates. And even with our warmer temperatures at the surface, that may be enough to overcome those warmer temperatures. So we could still see those snow covered roadways really deteriorating travel conditions as the snow picks up. And we'll be watching uh, our southern counties to see where our rain snow line sets up because that's going to be a pretty big difference between quite a bit of snow and maybe just some minor accumulations. But we're all expecting snow at some point tonight into early tomorrow with this whole system. So temperatures staying fairly steady through the night, starting to drop into the 20s by early Tuesday morning as this whole system starts to wrap up. Snow continues though into early tomorrow as our winds really kick up. Could be seeing some 40, 45 mile per hour gusts during this time with our temperatures dropping into the 20s. But we do clear things out tomorrow afternoon as temperatures remain in those low to mid 20s for us through the daytime on Tuesday. So this is current thinking with the heavier snowfall totals, the further north that you get and the closer you get to the Kansas Nebraska border, really, you've got a little bit better chance of seeing even greater than 10 inches. You may be around 11, possibly 12, uh, just depending on where our heavier snow bands set up. It's not out of the realm of possibility to see that today. And then our numbers sharply drop off depending on where that rain snow line sets up. So we could get some pretty decent snowfall along I-70 or we could see that dropping off even further uh, where we're down to maybe two or even three inches with those whites and those blue shaded colors too. So we're going to keep a close eye on that today. Just no matter what, prepare for really deteriorating travel conditions. Also some really low visibilities with this too as our winds start to pick up. For now, they're out of the east. As we go throughout the night tonight, eventually we will see these winds shifting around to the north and west with those gusts around 40 to even 45 miles per hour by early tomorrow morning. If there is still some snow around, that would cause some blowing and drifting snow. It would cause some blowing already with the snow on the ground too. So we'll be watching for that as our winds start to taper off through the afternoon and evening, but we're likely looking at wind chills early tomorrow. Single digits teens pretty much through the entire day on Tuesday. A little bit of some dry time on Wednesday as our temperatures try to rebound, but then we've got another system already on its heels. This one brings a bigger push of Arctic air with it. So while we have that chance for snow Thursday and Friday, most likely going to stick around for a while with our temperatures maybe in the teens for afternoon highs, overnight lows near zero, wind chills potentially minus 50.